All right, boys, we're back on the Low Star to Legend series over here on the channel, and we're doing a rider that I think is a fan favorite, that being Medusa. Now, Medusa is one of those servants that I think a lot of people level up really early on because who doesn't like a snake waifu? But then they come to find out that she's actually pretty decent. She is nothing super insane or anything like that. Let's not get it twisted. Medusa has a very simple role, but in a very similar vein to someone like Medea, where they're doing one thing and they do that one thing pretty well, it makes them very viable for early players. And so while I'm not going to cap and just tell you guys that she is like the best servant ever made or like the best free to play servant, she is one of those servants that is kind of worth leveling because she's just like decent enough to with like the damage she's able to do. The fact that she's an AoE, she's quick if you need that in your box, you know, she'll kind of get you to the finish line until you get somebody like Achilles or say Ty Gong to fill in the role that she's trying to do. Before we begin, make sure you leave a like on the video and you subscribe to the channel for that daily FGO content. Also, I stream every weekday starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on my Twitch. That is linked down in the description down below alongside some of the other channels that I run over here on YouTube. One for Yu-Gi-Oh! and one for just like general anime good stuff. So if that interests you, also peep those in the description down below. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and start diving right into this, starting off with Medusa's hits, and uh, yeah, back to these early servants, right, where their hits are not super great. Although in Medusa's case, she's kind of just, again, barely got enough to get her to the finish line here. The two hit quick cards aren't super phenomenal. She does have a passive 11% quick buff that is helping those out a little bit, giving a little bit of extra damage, and probably more importantly, a little bit of extra NP gain. Her arts cards are surprisingly fine. If you're like me and you don't have Scotty and you have to use Medusa in like a Castoria Scotty Medusa setup if you ever want to use her, the extra arts buff and like the extra NP gain that Castoria can give to Medusa can make her arts cards decent enough with crits. And again, she is a quick servant, so the fact that she could quick chain with herself or with any other servants that also have two quick cards does mean you can get enough crit stars going that you can do some consistent crits with her and those crits on the arts card are going to be enough to get her refunding her NP. So that's at least decent enough and also she's a rider so her natural star weight is insanely high so she doesn't even have to like fight for the stars or anything. But realistically it's just like do crits as much as you can on these things not even for the damage but more so for the actual just NP gain that you need to consistently fire your NPs. But with that being said, let's go ahead and start moving into some of her skills and talk about what she actually does. Starting off with skill one, we basically just have her having a 100% chance to petrify one enemy, which is literally just stun. With the nice caveat that petrify, because it's not technically called stun, it ignores stun resistance, which is kind of nice. But yeah, you basically have a different stun, quote unquote, that lasts for one turn on a six turn cooldown. This like is kind of cool if they ever wanted to like expand upon this because it functions as like survivability in a way because you're locking down the opponent for a turn. The only thing that's a little awkward about it is that you would use this on one enemy but Medusa is an AoE so ideally you're using her when you're fighting multiple enemies meaning you can't use it to like shut down the entire enemy wave. If they do buff this in the future they could kind of just give her the Gorgon like Babylonia effect where she has the chance to petrify everybody for one turn. I think we're in that spot in FGO where that wouldn't be too broken. I mean, we've had people like Shuten Doji who literally has an AoE charm skill. So giving something similar to Medusa would not be too broken. And then just slap something like AoE defense down or a quick resistance down. Something like that would be really helpful because that's not a super common debuff to put on people. But the like skeleton of the skill is already pretty decent. Like it's not bad. It's just modern FGO. Each skill has to have like three or four different things. And so while this is like fine, it can buy you a turn. It's not exactly super OP or anything. It's like, oh my goodness, it's a petrify for one turn. It might keep her alive. It might also keep your supports alive because you stun somebody. Her second skill is also just decent. It's a 30% attack buff for two turns. That's not bad on a five turn cooldown. Again, it's just like... If this was on a more modern servant, they would get like a quick buff or like an NP damage buff or like a crit buff on here as well. It's just something you pop whenever you want to do damage. I mean, even transitioning to her third skill, this is one that she didn't even have when she spawned in the game because a lot of low rarity servants never had like their last skills. 
And so kind of sensing the inconsistency issue that Medusa was kind of having, because unless she was like doing crits, she's really not getting to her NP. They gave her a 20% battery that also gives her 30% NP gain for three turns on a six turn cooldown. And this is fine. It's just, again, a little power crept. Because for a lot of free-to-play players, you would ideally like to at least have the 25% that like Karna and Arjuna have. Because at the very least, that's compatible with like a maximum of broken imaginary element. This is kind of like requiring you to just have a K scope if you want to auto fire your NP. But that's more in related to farming, which I really don't think you should try to use Medusa in farming because you might see, oh my goodness, she's got the battery. You know, she can do some decent enough damage. She's got an NP gain buff. The issue is that she only has one hit on her NP, and so that really doesn't allow her to refund a lot of NP, no matter what you like put into her. You'll basically have to do what I'm showing right now, where I just load up on supports and then just pray that you get like decent RNG for her cards, and then just crit the last wave if you're really that down bad for someone to do three turn farming for you. But I don't really think that's super great as an idea, right? I think her ideal slot is like you're a newer player and you just use her to like clear a node or two whenever you need just some pretty decent damage from a rider because her damage is not bad. I don't even have my own Scotty, so I can't even like massively gas up her quick crits and everything. But you could also use her for stuff like clearing doors for like the QP quest and like all that good stuff. Like she's just like decent enough to get that stuff done. But like using her for event farming or something is not a super great idea because that one hit NP is really killing her. Now, if she had like three hits or even God forbid, like five hits, she would be chilling, right? Because she's got the attack buff. She's got the NP gain buff. You would be able to string something together, but she's just not able to get any overkill. And so it kind of just relegates her to being like a normie uh, wave clearer, right? Which is not bad. Again, very good for like newer players. But eventually you're going to move on and you're going to find somebody else. Again, like when you get somebody like Achilles or Tai Gong, they're probably going to replace her as your AoE quick rider. But considering that she's very low investment because she is a three star and she's almost guaranteed to be at NP5 as long as you've been summoning in any capacity at all, you should have her NP5. She could do some decent damage. And the really only bad drawback for her is that she does kind of need a bit of dust for leveling her up. And I guess she does need a couple of hearts, which might be harder for new players. But again, if you are newer, I kind of just recommend that you go for like four for four on your servants because that only requires you to use like the gems and the red ruby things, right? So it's not like super high investment. And things like the battery are guaranteed to be 20%. You don't have to like level up the skill to actually get the 20% battery, which is very, very nice. So overall, it's like, is Medusa like this crazy free to play goddess? Not really. She's decent enough as like a wave clearer, but do people like Medusa? Yeah. Do I use Medusa still? Sometimes because, hey, she's cute. And she's at least got enough going for herself that she can actually like do a job that you want her to do. And I mean, you have even seen like some of the gameplay that I've got going here that she is able to kind of three turn if you kind of brute force it. So if you're a huge Medusa fan, that's a little bit of hope for you. But keep in mind, I'm also using a maximum broken K scope. So that's not exactly what I would consider to be just common in everybody's box. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, right? If I had to like rate Medusa, I'd be like, she's like a low like silver, right? If we're going like gold, silver, bronze. The fact that her damage is still pretty decent. The fact that she has the battery and she has like some applicability when it comes to actual challenge quests being able to like lock down maybe a boss for a turn. That's kind of nice. You can make stuff, you know, work with that, but he's not really doing anything super insane. The fact that she's a fate stay night servant though, does tell me that they'll probably go back and give her a buff. I mean, if it's anything like the Ku, Herc, Emia, or Artoria buff, she's going to be nutty insane, but we'll have to wait and see that when it actually comes out. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You guys have yourselves a nice day. Peace. Late guys.